Arika Johnson, just now, shared with public. Title, Child's Play, The Blood Games. Scene 1, Toy Store After Hours. The flickering fluorescent lights above cast eerie shadows across the toy aisles of Riley's toys. A security guard walks slowly through the narrow lanes, yawning. He pauses at the sound of a box falling, echoing through the deserted store. He squints into the darkness, his flashlight casting an uncertain glow over shelves filled with dolls. Suddenly, crash. Another box hits the ground, and from behind a pile of teddy bears emerges Chucky, dirty overalls, wild red hair, and a grin that can only spell malice. His tiny plastic hand grips a butcher knife, dripping with some other poor soul's blood. Chucky, grinning wickedly, you picked the wrong night to mess with a good guy, asshole. The guard turns, too late to see the doll charging at him. Before he can scream, Chucky lunges, plunging the knife into his thigh. The guard collapses, writhing in pain, but the small doll shows no mercy. Chucky, looks like playtime's over, motherfucker. With a vicious swipe, Chucky cuts across the guard's throat. The body crumples to the floor, his gurgling death echoing through the aisles. Scene 2, Home Sweet Home. A family sits down for dinner. Andy, now in his 30s, has tried to lead a quiet life, far from the trauma of his childhood. His wife, Lisa, and young son, Daniel, are unaware of the horrors he's faced. Until now. A knock at the door breaks the peaceful dinner. Andy's face drains of color. There, on the front step, is a familiar package. He slowly approaches, Lisa following close behind. Lisa, laughing, who sends toys in a package this big? Andy's hands tremble as he opens the box, revealing the good guy doll staring blankly ahead. Chucky, miss me, Andy? Suddenly, Chucky bursts to life, lunging forward with an eerily happy expression. He grabs a fork from the table and jabs it into Lisa's hand. Lisa, screaming, what the fuck? Andy grabs a chair, swinging at the doll, but Chucky is quick, dropping down and slashing his leg. Chucky, you can't get rid of me that easy, Andy. You knew we'd play again someday. Scene 3, Daniel's Nightmare. Later that night, young Daniel wakes up to the sound of giggling. He sits up in his bed, rubbing his eyes and notices Chucky sitting on the chair across the room. Chucky, whispering, wanna play hide and seek, kid? Daniel screams, but Chucky moves lightning fast. He leaps onto Daniel's bed, pressing a tiny hand over the boy's mouth. Chucky, sure, it's just a game, a real bloody fun game. He pulls a small knife from behind his back, dragging it across Daniel's pillow as a warning. Andy bursts into the room just in time, grabbing the doll and hurling him into the wall. Andy, stay away from my son, you evil little shit. Chucky stands, his head twisted at an unnatural angle, grinning like a maniac. Chucky, family reunions make me want to carve something up. Scene 4, Lisa fights back. Lisa, now fully aware of the horror they face, barricades herself in the kitchen. She grabs the biggest knife she can find, her hands shaking but determined. The sound of tiny footsteps echoes, getting louder. Lisa, yelling, come on, you fucking doll. Let's see how tough you are. Chucky rounds the corner, his blue overalls smeared with blood. Chucky, mama's getting feisty. I love it. Lisa swings at him, catching his arm and slicing it. Blue plastic leaks red blood. Chucky screams in rage, jumping at her. They crash onto the kitchen floor, Lisa desperately trying to push the knife into Chucky's plastic skull. Scene 5, Chucky's bloody vendetta. Chucky, injured but furious, limps through the house. He finds Daniel hiding in a closet, his small frame trembling. Chucky, tauntingly, peek boo, I see you. Chucky slams the door open and raises his knife, ready to end Daniel. But a bullet suddenly rips through his plastic chest, Andy, armed and pissed. Andy, shouting, you want a piece of me, you psychotic bastard? Andy unloads into Chucky, the doll's body twitching violently with each shot. Bits of plastic and stuffing fly everywhere, but even with a gaping hole in his chest, 
Chucky's laugh echoes through the room. Chucky, you think this is over, Andy? I always come back. Scene 6, Chucky's final stand. The family ends up in the basement, Andy, Lisa, and Daniel against a now disfigured Chucky. His voice glitches as he laughs, his eyes flickering between murderous rage and the blank stare of a dead doll. Andy, out of breath, you're just a doll. A fucking doll. Chucky, then why are you so scared, Andy? Let's end this, just you and me. Andy grabs a blowtorch from the workbench, igniting it. Chucky runs at him, knife ready, but Andy catches him midair. The torch flares up, catching Chucky's hair. Chucky, screaming, no, not like this. Andy watches as the doll burns, its plastic skin bubbling and melting, the smell acrid and foul. Chucky's screams fill the basement, but slowly, they fade until there's nothing left but silence and smoldering plastic. Scene 7, The Aftermath Andy collapses on the basement stairs, exhausted. Lisa and Daniel join him, the three of them staring at the charred remains. Lisa, shaken, is it over? Andy stares into the flames, his eyes hollow. Andy, for now. But with Chucky, it's never really over. Scene 8, A New Home. The family decides to move. The house is empty, boxes packed and gone. Andy takes one last look around, locking the front door. But in the attic, hidden among forgotten things, a single good guy doll lies there. Its eyes flash red for a split second, its mouth twitching into a twisted smile. Scene 9. The Toy Factory A distant toy factory, workers going about their day oblivious. A conveyor belt filled with smiling good guy dolls, each passing through quality checks. One doll, with a stitched scar and a familiar devilish grin, turns its head toward the camera. Chucky, softly, playtime's just begun. Scene 10. End credits tease. During the credits, a security camera shows a dark room and Chucky's laughter echoes. The screen goes black and a final phrase appears. You can't keep a good guy down. Child's play. The Blood Games delivers relentless, blood-soaked horror, embracing Chucky's demented humor, gleeful violence, and the twisted chaos that made the franchise infamous, showcasing the nightmare that never truly ends. Like comment. Share.